Family all together has always been really supportive. My grandma in particular, when I was little, she would just sit with me for hours watching me do tricks. I'd get halfway through and something would happen and it didn't work. And I would say, oh, I have to start all over again. And she just happily sat through that for hours and hours, for years and years and years. It's Matt Franco and I'm going to do some magic. When I meet girls, I feel like they would just walk away immediately if I was like, hey, I'm imagining. Here it comes, it's a light, a beautiful light Over the horizon, into her eyes Oh my, my, how beautiful Oh my beautiful mother She told me, son, in life you're gonna go far If you do it right, you'll love where you are Two of diamonds, and I thought maybe you would have that one, but hold on. See, Howie, two hundred forty thousand miles from the moon. Is that right? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, well, I don't. I'm not part of this. But Howie, one card shows you. This is gonna sound a little crazy. Obviously, I couldn't have touched you. Please stand. Deck of Cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent. With Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel V, our queen of pop, and of course our favorite, Joker. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack. Ball trades. Jack of ball trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7, since I was about four years old. See, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. This king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yep, even you, Howard. You look great. You look great just to the nines, but don't get me wrong. I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal. We all know that. But it's you, Mel B, that I've always had the hots for. You see, you were part of the Spice Girls. The only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jax and Five. That was great. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.